The last week has been a dark one for Ghana's fight against illegal mining. Details of a leaked 36-page report by the former chair of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. For the opposition NDC, the report only confirms worrying details captured in an investigative piece by Al Jazeera. The explosive revelations contained in Al Jazeera's gold mafia investigative piece explain why the president's supposed fight against Galamse has been a spectacular failure. Galamse was obviously bound to flourish under the corrupt Ekufuado Bawumia regime because it was the central source for illegal gold purchases. For the NDC, the revelations in the expose reveal a worrying trend indicative of the presidency embroiled in corruption. The question every objective Ghanaian should be asking is how come the names of the president and his vice keep popping up in such shady deals and corruption scandals? Why always them? It could neither be mere speculation nor influence peddling any longer. This trend has now received such unaviable global publicity and must worry every well-meaning Ghanaian. In both matters, though, the call is unanimous. A live bipartisan probe into both allegations by Parliament and the Special Prosecutor. As a further step to back our demands, the NDC shall formally, in the coming days, submit a request to both the clerk of parliament and the office of the special prosecutor to initiate the necessary investigations into the gold mafia documentary as it relates to Ghana and the Galamse report of Professor Frimpong Boate. For the NDC, they will go as far as hitting the streets should there be attempts to stop justice from being exacted. We are demanding justice and we are demanding action. And if they don't give us justice, we will hit the streets, we will go to their homes. who say, enjoy from Eric Mawena Egbeta, TV3 News, NDC headquarters, Accra.